What's up guys, in today's video I will show you how to install Android SDK using Eclipse. Let's do it! So first of all we need to download it. Um, let's write in Google download Eclipse Android SDK. And here you find the official link from android.com click on download Eclipse ADT accept the terms and conditions agree choose 32 bits or 64 bits mine is 32 bits and download Save it in your computer. It's about 333 megabytes, so we'll have to wait some time. So now after the download, download is done, let's extract the files from the zip archive. Boom! So now that we have all the files we need, uh, open the folder edit bundle windows and here we find two folders Eclipse and SDK and also the file named SDK Manager. Let's open the SDK Manager. Here we will find all the updates which Google makes. Uh, Eclipse is not the official uh, Google's program for developers. They have Android Studio. But uh, Eclipse is the first uh, application, first program used to develop Android applications. So I still use it. Um, what we'll need to do in the Android SDK Manager is to get the newest updates. So let's find at extras we'll find the Android support repository. Also we'll need uh, play services for um, for the Android AdMob. Android AdMob is the Google Ads. Uh, also, we'll need the Google repository. And check the Google USB driver. I think that's all. Now we need an Now we'll need an Android app. It's the Android versions which you get in your uh, device. So we'll <coughs> we'll choose the versions on which we will actually uh, work, on which our applications will be developed. Uh, usually we develop on the newest version. Uh, AP19 and also you can get AP18. Um, that's all. Now we should click install packages, accept the license and click install. We'll wait till all these packages get 
downloaded and installed, of course. Let's wait. Now that uh, SDK Manager made his job, let's open the Eclipse. Join the folder Eclipse and here you'll find the Eclipse.exe. Open it. Here we should choose the workspace. The workspace is the folder in which uh, all our projects are saved. Just choose one. And click OK, of course. That's all. This is this is our Android SDK Eclipse. Good luck in coding, or if you can't code, subscribe. And in the next videos, I will show you how to create small applications and run them. Bye. Yeah.